In this video, we're going to be going over the best point guards in NBA 2K22 My Team on a tier list. As you guys can see, we have a tier list here ranking from S all the way down to D tier. Now, the cards in S tier are going to be my top five point guards in the game. And yes, I do have some of the pink diamonds like Derrick Rose, like Brandon Jennings, like Jeremy Lin. So obviously, those guys are probably going to be in the S tier. So you guys can kind of look from A and below, and those are going to be guys that aren't the pink diamonds, but the pink diamonds are available to obtain now. So I feel like they have to be on the tier list. But the first point guard here is going to be Amethyst Steph Curry. And honestly, I think he's going to be right outside of that top five. Uh, this Amethyst Curry is really, really elite. He's probably one of the best, if not the best budget option in the game right now. He's obviously Curry, so point guard, shooting guard, six foot three tall. He's going to have that 93 three ball, 90 mid range. He's got Hall of Fame catch and shoot, has every single shooting back at least on silver he's also got some really good playmaking badges 92 ball handle we already kind of know what curry can do if you guys have used him or played against him you know how good this amethyst steph curry really is next card here is going to be diamond bj armstrong and i'm going to put him probably either b tier or a tier and i'm going to go b tier for now i think amethyst steph curry is honestly a little bit better we can look at bj armstrong here on 2kdb yes he's got some good stats but he's a little bit small and his player build really isn't the best in game but he's got an 89 three ball 89 mid range he's really fast he can't dunk though which is kind of a problem but like i said i think his jump shot really isn't the best but now that i'm looking at it he's got good defense he's got yeah this jump shot is not very good but yeah, honestly, guys, I think I might move him up into A tier. I think Curry is still definitely better, but I think A tier is probably a fair rating for BJ Armstrong. Next point guard here on the tier list is going to be Ruby Chris Paul, and I really don't think he's a very good point guard at all. I'm going to throw him in C tier. He's way worse than Curry, way worse than BJ Armstrong. Next point guard, though, is going to be Sapphire Darius Garland. I've heard this card's not terrible, but I'm going to probably throw him in C tier as well. Looking at Derrick Rose, the pink diamond, I think probably the best point guard in the game is going to be pink diamond Derrick Rose. Like this card and any of these pink diamonds right now in the game are just super overpowered. He's a point guard, shooting guard, six foot three tall but has a great wingspan at six foot eight he's gonna have an 84 three ball 88 mid-range 98 speed with a 98 acceleration super fast card we all know Derek Rose really good at going to the basket he's a really good defender like I said 95 ball handle 98 speed with ball he's gonna be great going downhill getting to the basket and they gave him pretty much the same jump shot he had last year which is a very very good release he's got the Trey Young dribble style he's got the Kobe Bryant escape I mean there's really no flaws with this Derek Rose card so he's definitely going to be in that S tier category. Looking at Ruby John Morant, for some reason on 2KDB, I can't show you guys like the I can't show you guys the Evo John Morant, but just pretend this is the Evo John Morant, the starter card one. I think Jaw, honestly, I think he's going to be in B tier. I don't think he's as good as Curry. I he might be as good as BJ Armstrong. He's definitely going to be very high B tier, right? Like, so this is the starter card. I can't exactly show you guys him because if I click on the Emerald, then I don't think you can Evo him. Like, I can't show you guys what he looks like when he becomes a Ruby. So you guys already know what John Moran can do. You guys probably all have the starter card. He's a very, very good point guard. I think he's going to be in my high B tier. Looking at Trey Young, I think John Moran and Trey Young are kind of on the same level. Trey's got that Trey escape. He's got a really good jump shot. He's going to be a really glitchy card. So Kyrie Irving, I think it's probably going to be in C tier. And honestly, I'm going to move Chris Paul down to D tier. Darius Garland, Kyrie Irving are a good amount better than Chris Paul. And I think Chris Paul really just doesn't have any value in the game right now. So he's going to be my first D tier point guard. Looking at Emerald Steve Kerr, I think he's going to have to go in C tier. He's got a really good jump shot but maybe he might go down to that D tier with Chris Paul. Guys, also let me know in the comment section down below, what would you guys change about my tier list? And just let me know some of your guys' favorite point guards in the game right now. But like I said, Steve Kerr, he's gonna be a really good three-point shooter. He's got a decent jump shot. He's got tons of, hall, uh, not Hall of Fame. He's got tons of shooting badges. He's got an 89 three ball. But the more I look at it, he's either going to be really low C tier or really high D tier. Looking at the next point guard here on the tier list, it's going to be another pink diamond. So obviously Jeremy Lin's going to have to go in S tier. But I think you could make the argument that Amethyst Steph Curry is actually a bit better. So I might move Jeremy Lin down into A tier because if we look at Lin on 2KDB, I really don't think he's the best. You guys can let me know. Do you guys like this Jeremy Lin card? Obviously, he's a pink diamond, so I'm not going to say he's a bad card. I just think I might like Amethyst Steph Curry a little bit more just based on the jump shot. He's going to be a better shooter, but I don't know. Like, it's hard to rank these pink diamonds because no one's really used them yet. So you could probably say Jeremy Lin's an S tier, but I'm just going to have him in A tier for now. Looking at John Stockton, I've heard he's actually really good. I'm going to throw him probably high B tier. He's probably around the same as John Morant. Looking at Mike Bibby, once again, haven't used him. So he's probably going to be an A tier, though. 
Again, we haven't really used a lot of cards. It's a start of the game, so it's hard to give like perfect rankings. But you can get a, you can get an idea. But looking at by looking at 2KDB, he's a point guard, shooting guard, six foot one tall with a six foot four wingspan. He's just not going to be a good defender. I think I might move him down to uh, B tier. Yeah, he really doesn't have the best jump shot either. So. I'm going to move Mike Bibby down to B tier. I think he's kind of on the same level as John Stockton, you know, John Morant, Trey Young. I think BJ, Jeremy Lin, and Curry are just are a little bit better. Looking at the next point guard here is going to be Brandon Jennings. Now, I think he actually did just get an update. That's the reason why I'm throwing him in S tier. I think they gave him a really good jump shot. If we go to Brandon Jennings, I think he just got an update to his SIGs and his jump shot. And yes, he did. He's going to have Patrick Mills jump shot on quick release timing, which is really, really good. That's what the one of the first quick release timing cards in the game. And he's also going to have a really good jump shot. Yes, he's a bit undersized, so he's either going to be an S tier or high A tier. Looking at the next point guard here is going to be Pink Diamond Steph Curry, who definitely is going to be an S tier, either the best or the second best point guard, in my personal opinion. You guys already know what Curry can get into. His Pink Diamond is just a little bit better. I would say maybe even a bit, be a good amount better than his Amethyst version. Next Pink Diamond here on the tier list is going to be Steve Nash. And I'm really not the biggest fan of Steve Nash. I think he's kind of going to be on the same tier as a guy like Jeremy Lin. Obviously, they're better than B BJ Armstrong, and they're kind of around the same level as Amethyst Steph Curry. Looking at Rondo, this may surprise a lot of people. I don't think this Rondo card is good at all. Some people like him. Me, personally, every time I play against him, he just can't shoot. He's super small, can't play any defense. So I'm going to have Rondo in that C tier category. Looking at uh, Steve Francis, Steve Francis looks to be really good. He's going to be kind of around the same as a guy like Derrick Rose. And then looking at Russell Westbrook, I think this is probably going to be my S tier category. Who do I got left? Yeah, Tim Hardaway, probably going to be an A tier with Steve Nash and Jeremy Lin. Damian Lillard, very good card. He's going to go in B tier. And then Terry Rozier, probably going to go in that C tier category. So this is what my tier list is going to look like. Russell Westbrook, Steve Francis, and uh, Derrick Rose all kind of play very similar. But I would say if I had to rank the top five, it would probably be something like this and i think brandon jennings is only there because he got that update but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think let me know your guys favorite point guards in the game and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace